Good morning. Look at that backdrop. And look at the sky here. Look how pretty the sky is this morning. Uh, we're going pink salmon fishing. And I'm not wearing waders, so I might I might go around this log jam. I'm just trying to find the fish right now. I'm here very early. It's literally sunrise right now on the clock. 20 minutes to six in the morning. Hopefully I'm one of the first guys here. Let's see. Lots of footsteps. Let's follow the footsteps. Yo. Someone's made like a little camp. Look. They got a little stone garden. Love dwells here. Nice little open cabin. Now where are the fish? Where are the fish? Let's just walk down a bit. Jacob's gonna be here in about 10 minutes, so. We're being joined by uh, some of the Discord crew this morning. Four of us, I think, are gonna come and try to find some pinks. This is what we were starting the morning with. This is a uh, pink tube fly with some weighted eyes. I got that from Pacific Angler. It's caught me uh, a chum and some cutthroat. right there. That means there's fish. But it means fish are probably not sitting right here. <laughs> fish activity right there. Seals up there, which means the fish are right in front of me. And so far, they seem to be in about one to two feet of water. I just don't know if my presentation is bright enough. What I'm trying to do is cast just about 45 degree downstream, let it swing over so that it's about in the top two feet of the water column, and hopefully it gets in front of a fish. But the visibility is poor. You look down here, we're not working with a lot of viz. Seal out there, seal right there. Guys are jerks, dude. Oh, now there, there's three. There are two there and one out in the main. All of this to indicate there are definitely fish here. That is fantastic. God, it's beautiful. I'm the only one here this morning right now. 
and I absolutely love it. Yeah, with the water like this, my pink fly is all of a sudden not standing up. The question is, do we stay here, battle it out, and try to hook up with something more aggressive? Or, do we switch up and go to a different system? It might have some better water, maybe some trout fishing. It's beautiful, there's just, there's like, a four foot layer of, oh, I was hung up. Four foot layer of fog all over the river. Just beautiful. Got our friend Jacob. Backlit by fog and the sun coming over the mountains. Pretty beautiful morning we have here. Jacob. No, I mean, what Finn had said six inches of viz, but it's probably like three or three or four right now. Yeah. So the two fish that I saw, one was up by where that guy's pulling in right now, um, and it was in about a foot of water. Wow. Really shallow. I didn't even see him. I just spooked him. Yeah. I mean, if this was, I assume if it was packed with fish, we would know. Yeah. So. And I mean, at some point, maybe we all get together and we say, let's move to place X and fish for an hour there. I'm, I'm open to moving. Yeah. So. I think so. Is that what you're leaning toward? Maybe you and I should make that executive call and head yes. back to the car. Yeah. So, I, think, I think it's time to make a switch. If okay. Barely, like the only fish we've seen are the ones getting chased by <laughs> yeah. seals. All right, we're making the call. Switching rivers, let's go. I think we're all good. Got my rods, my backpack, my net, my GoPros. Let's go for a walk. Let's go blue lining.
You've lost three? Come on, man. I'm just gonna put the camera right here. All right, I want you to bring the fish as close as possible. All right, you're on camera, bro. Yeah, there it is. That's the fish. This little spinner, they're chasing it right into his feet, so I'm gonna just kind of cast right beside him. No, 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 never. This is the wrong rod. What am I doing? What am I doing? Wrong rod. So, you gotta hook up, man. Come on. I have some casting room here. Uh, is that you? That's, it's stuck on line or something. That was so weird. It looked like it was hooked on someone's line. No, it, it almost looks like it, it bit someone else's stuff that's hooked underwater. All right, so what we're doing is we're gonna nip. Um, I recently was fishing in Alberta using dry dropper. Sadly, can't do that in BC. I'm uh, not allowed to use more than one fly. So, I'm gonna tie on. I think what I'm gonna tie on is this little, oh no. Unbelievable. I lost that fly. There's just so much like pine needles and moss and stuff that I oh, I just found it. No way dude. Like it flicked it flicked up here on top of this stump. I was looking down here for like five minutes. Anyway, I rigged up another one. All three guys here fishing the one spot where we hooked three fish and Finn's lost all three of them. It sucks. But uh, I think indicator with one of these blow torches from Driftstone Fly Fishing in the US. Pick them up with my discount code, link in the description. 10 to 15% off, can't quite remember. You get a discount off those flies if you use that link in my code. And uh, he's a buddy of mine, so it helps him out too. Uh, they're awesome flies, they caught me trout at Rice Lake, and hopefully we can catch a nice wild fish here. Gentlemen, well done. Whoa. Nice, thank you for the spoon. Are you recording your uh, trip? Yep. Good job, well, I Ryan. Didn't start, I didn't start it. I should start it. Yeah, you should start, start it. it. Yes. Uh, I need to you got a little live well here, so. Yep. That, look at the color on him. Dude, I thought it was a bull. I thought it was a bull too, it just smacked it. it. Brown that there. green almost looks like a cutthroat. Was like, oh, That's yeah. a nice fish, Use dude. My spoon. Was he in the, that far, far side, side of the scene? Close to that big rock. Down oh, there he was in the he was in the pocket in, cutty. in front of the rock. It is a cutty, yeah. I told you. Look that green cutty. color. Look at this oh, cute. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a uh, Jacob is a cutty. Cutbow, maybe. A little hammered rock. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a beautiful fish. Worm for uh, added. There you go. Did it work? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Uh, a measurement on him? Looks like he's about uh, 11 or 12. Yeah, the, oh, wow. Right and about a 10 and a half. Wow. Beautiful. Nice fish, dude. Nice fish, dude. Let's go. Yes. 
You know what? The water is murky. I think I need to size up. Let's put on the Trout Flies Utah Jig Sculpt Zilla. All right, two feet down from our indicator, we are throwing Bob's Jig Sculpt Zilla. Link to his store is also in the description of the video. This thing catches fish and salmon. But today, we're just looking for trout. That scared the f out of me. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> we both thought we got a steelhead, I think. I got about 10 minutes to fish before I gotta head out. And uh, I just thought this, this water would be good for that, uh, that jig sculpin indicator rig setup I've got on right now. So let's see if we can put something on the board here right at the end. We'll start with that water, work our way down. I just saw a fish attack my fly on the swing. I literally thought I was pulling weeds because the fish was so green, it was a cutthroat. I literally thought I had weeds and it was a fish chasing. Okay, all right. That's interesting. Yeah, he, I just had him on. I don't know if you guys could see that. Like a fish just missed it. In the tail up. Okay. I don't know if it's the same cutty or a different cutty. It's definitely a cut throw. I just had a fish on. Come on, dude. Ah, oh, he just, just came off again, dude. Multiple, multiple hits with this jig sculpting, guys. Last cast, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Stay to the end. Give me that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. See you on the next video. Probably pink salmon. Actually, no. It's going to be fishing Needle Lake Lodge. Actually, I don't know what order I'm going to do this in. I'll just see you in the next video. Bye, guys.